Hey guys, um, yeah, so another um, example of a moderately challenging use of problem and in this problem it's easy to make u sine x based on our first rule of thumb but we could also make u cosine x using our first rule of thumb which said that uh, we should look for the derivative of our u which in this case would be negative sine x uh, to be inside of our integral and it is well it doesn't have the negative but the negative is like a negative one and like we said we're not bothered by constants uh, we just require that the main party be present which he is right cool all right um, so then why am I betraying my advice in the last example about including constants well because here there's no way to include the constant one without also including the cosine squared in other words if I wanted to include this plus one there, I would have to make u one plus cosine squared. And you can make that u and see that du is gonna be a lot more complicated and a lot more than this, and therefore that's not the path that we choose. So in general, when you have plus a constant, you'd like to include that plus a constant with your choice of u. But in this case, we make an exception and betray that rule of thumb of including constants because we cannot include the constant without the cosine squared and the cosine squared is going to make du very complicated yeah cool all right um and rule of thumbs are things that work most of the time not all the time so adding constants is not something that works all the time um adding constants to our choice of u that is anyway all right uh you you've heard enough let's finish this problem so as usual we'll solve for dx which is going to be du divided by negative sine x and so then the integral we can rewrite now as sine x in the numerator divided by ah my bad sine x divided by um, it's gonna be 1 plus u squared times dx is du divided by negative sine x. Okay, so now this here and that there are gonna cancel. So then I'm gonna get, and I could take out the negative in front of the integral. So I'm gonna get negative integral of one over, one divided by rather, which is the same thing as one over, my bad, one plus u squared du. All right, now this is a very famous integral or antiderivative. It's arctan or tan inverse. So what we have is negative tan inverse of u plus c. And as I just said, tan inverse is the same thing as arctan. And so I'll replace u with cosine and write negative arctan of cosine of x plus c. Yeah? Cool. Alright. Keep watching.